Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Mats and tools are all sponsored by the following brands. So today we're going to paint with oils. I did this project around three weeks ago. I needed a quick project at the rain slash display base for my spell crow miniatures. And I wanted to like study and practice with oil painting. I am a water-based painter since I was 12 years old because I do watercolors since 12 and also I've been painting with Vallejo acrylic paints for more than a decade now. So I don't really have an experience with painting with oils. So Concept Knot and the other guys at our Discord server kinda like taught me some tips on how to paint with oils while I was practicing with oil painting. Also, I watch a couple of videos by Marco, not just Mecca because he really loves his oil paints with his miniatures. So I kinda like watch the videos and saw that he paints like acrylic base coating before he paints the actual oil paints. So the acrylic underpainting should give us a nice base before we paint with oils. Now let's get oily. Oh by the way, I have a new channel. This will have all the condensed versions of my painting videos. I'll put the link on top and at the description below. Marco recommends Windsor and Newton oil paints because I think those dry the fastest but I don't have access to those paints so I use different brands of oil paints. So what do you need other than the actual oil paints? You need turpentine or turpenoid and also you need paint thinner or like mineral spirits to clean the brushes also of course you need a towel to clean up or wipe your brush you need to use like the turpenoid or turpentine because those thinners will make the oil paints dry faster so the main property of oils is that it remains oily or wet for like really long if you use linseed oil it could actually stay wet or workable for months or even six months and if you use turpentine it will be workable for maybe an hour or two and the paints remain active meaning it's so easy to blend because they remain they, they practically remain wet forever so you could actually do this with acrylics like wet on wet blending using retarder medium and painting with thick layers of acrylic or heavy body acrylics for that matter but for some reason the oils kind of look more saturated even if you blend them together. So I painted the oils here really thick. It took around a couple of days to dry. So the drying time depends on the thickness of application and the amount of oil paints that you use. I, it took around 2 days to dry for this one but I think it was worth it because it looked great. So once the oil paints were dry, I then did some tough work just to spice up the base a bit. So next we'll discuss are oil paints like worth it? Are they worth the investment? Fair warning though, before I say my conclusion in terms of are oil paints worth it? Because I'm an official Vallejo painter, sponsored, and I do videos and tutorials for them. I even wrote a book about Vallejo paints. So, are oil paints worth it? Yes. <laughs> yes, in terms of using them as oil washes because they're so easy to use it's a very carefree method of doing washes because once you apply them they remain wet they stay wet and you could just like blend the edges with cotton swabs or a clean like set of brushes or a brush with dipped in turpentine or mineral spirits and you could like you won't get watermarks you'll get oil marks though if you don't blend the edges However, the oil marks or the edges of the oil wash remains a bit active and you could clean it up 
even before like if, even if you took your time and it will remain active for maybe an hour so this project was extra fun for me because working with different tools and materials is really fun especially if you're kind of getting old and new stuff kind of makes you feel younger the only caveats to using oils is that you have to have a separate set of brushes and of course the thinners or additives, they kind of smell. I think I'll be using oils once in a while, especially the oil washes, but not the base coating. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!